what do you think may make what do you make of that the results that you're seeing on that poll is that what you would expect well first let me say i'm not trans but i am a trans ally for 50 years and i'm trying to reflect the views of trans people uh, because i understand that no trans person was available to do this interview um the poll is very 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 interesting but it is based upon a huge amount of misinformation. Nobody is proposing that trans people can change their gender at the age of 16. What is being proposed in Scotland is that a person can get a gender recognition certificate, which is just basically an identity document, at the age of 16 or 17, if they've lived in their firm gender for six months or more. So it's not about actually changing their physical gender at all. It's just a certificate. And the certificate only basically gives affirmation of a person's gender in terms of birth certificate, marriage certificate, and death certificate. It does not give a trans person any rights whatsoever. And it certainly doesn't involve uh, changing, physically changing their body through surgery. Well, I mean, to be honest with you, I think that's the same difference, isn't it? OK, so you don't go through the medical process, but you've gone through the legal process. And I don't think that people are concerned about the medical side of it. I think it's the legal aspect of what that then entitles you to do. So as a woman, if you're able to, if you're a man and you're able to change your gender legally at 16 without any need for any sort of medical supervision with regard to it, then I think the, the worry is that it will be that aspect of it. Those who are maybe not as... I mean, most trans people are pretty decent, reasonable people. Nobody's even saying that. What they're saying is that it opens it out for abuse of the system. Well, of course, the Scottish proposals are very, very strict. First of all, they give the Scottish government or registrar the power to refuse a gender recognition certificate to any person who has been convicted of a sexual assault. So that is very, very clear. That's a safeguarding principle. The second point to make is that if someone falsely claims to be trans and seeks a gender recognition certificate uh, through fraud when they're not really trans, they can be jailed for up to two years. So that is a very clear protection against abuse. Well, you say and that even if be... there were some abuses, the mm. point is we don't make laws in this country based upon what a small minority might do. For example, a very small minority of Muslims are terrorists, but we don't therefore restrict the rights of all Muslims because of the behaviour of that small minority. And the same applies with trans people. If there are trans people who do bad, do bad things, they should, of course, be punished. But we don't frame the law based upon bad actions by a tiny minority.